I'm gonna go get a $100 hamburger in Conroe, Texas. Let's go. Clear prop. Good afternoon, Sugarland Ground, Cherokee 773 in November. I'd like to pick up clearance to Conroe, please. Charlie, X-ray, Oscar. Cherokee 773 in November, Sugarland Ground. You cleared to Conroe Airport via Ritter Vectors. Climb and maintain 2,000. Expect 4,000, one zoom minutes after. Departure frequency 123.8, squawk 5222. Two, two. Cherokee Ground, Cherokee 773 in November. Holding short of echo, information kilo, ready to It's all good. Mixture is best power. Primer is in and locked. RPMs 2,000. Flaps are zero, electric fuel pump on, mixture best power, carb heat is off, pedo heat is off, HSI lines with magnetic compass within 10 degrees with no bubbles, cracks, or leaks. Doors latched, window closed, transponder 5222, two, two. landing light on, strobes on, time is currently 1.33 p.m. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Sugarland Tower, Cherokee 773 in November, holding short 17, ready for departure. Cherokee 3 in November, Tower on departure, fly runway, heading climb, maintain 2000, runway 17, clear for takeoff. 7 clear for takeoff, climb, maintain 2000, fly runway, heading 3 in November. Final is clear. Nine, nine, two, four, one, Bravo, Sugarland Everything Tower, looks one, good. Two, land. All right. I think that's the Instagram girl. Hope you guys have a nice day. <laughs> yeah, you too. See you at flight. All right, airspeed's alive, all gauges in the green, looks good, and rotate. What is that, my friends? As you just heard, we are flying to Conroe, Texas. Now, it's funny to say that because I fly out of Sugarland, Texas, so it's really only about a 30-minute flight, but we're going to have a good time regardless. It's a little bumpy when we come in to land, so hold on to your hats, and trust me, the burger is well worth it. So stick around, and let's get to it. Good afternoon, Houston departure, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in, heading 170, climbing through 1,200. Turkey 773 at November, East departure, radar contact, good afternoon, climb and maintain 3000, turn right heading 270. Up to 3000, right heading in 270, 3 at November. Electric fuel pump off, fuel pressure remains in the green, landing light off, everything still looks good. Zero at 6. Chapter 3 at November, so heading 320. Turning to heading 320, and I do have information x-ray. I'll take the RNAV uh, for uh, one four, please, for 3 of November. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to have a ton of time to talk to you guys, but that was a super easy takeoff. It is a little bit windy, which I kind of expected the bumps because of the clouds. We are currently 24 minutes away from our airport. We've picked up the weather. The sky is starting to clear up. Should be a nice, easy approach. I am still going to shoot the instrument approach just in case I end up getting too close to those clouds. I just don't want to have to worry about it. And hopefully you guys will be able to hear it. But as I was getting ready for takeoff, the jet pilot that was behind me actually he follows me on Instagram, so that was pretty cool. I wasn't able to talk to him for very long, unfortunately, but it's still really special when that kind of stuff happens. So, I love it. It is a really pretty day to fly, although there are some clouds, but it's not too shabby, actually. It was a lot worse earlier. I don't usually take off at 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm usually out of here at like 9 a.m., but you live and you learn. We make it work. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I'm just going to load the RNAV runway 14 approach just so I can brief it. I know exactly what to expect. I'll look at what the missed approach procedure is going to be, my frequencies, and of course um, my missed approach instructions and what altitude. So i turn him up just a little bit. So for those those of you that have never seen an approach plate before, this is exactly what it looks like. We're really looking at a few key factors here. First one being the missed approach instructions. We're double checking our frequencies, looking at our waypoints, and figuring out when we need to go missed based off of our minimums. I may not get a ton of time to talk to you guys without any radio calls just because this is such a quick flight, but the FBO actually invited me and I've always wanted to be able to check out Conroe, so I'm really excited. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually used to be a full-time server and there was so many times where I'd come in, I'd work an eight-hour shift. Uh, there was one time specifically, they spent over $300 for six people, and they left a $0 tip. So I'm excited to be able to, you know, tip somebody really well today and get their reaction and let you guys see it too. Greg, I think you said Houston, but I'm sure you meant Austin Airport. <laughs> I did. I might have stuttered. Thanks, Chronos 257. No problem, Chronos 257. Maintain 5,000. When you're ready, go direct Bach. Directly to Bach, Chronos 257 at 5,000. 
that right there just shows you everybody makes mistakes on the radios. So, you know, you guys can laugh at me all day long. It's okay. We all learn from it. <laughs> I am going to ask y'all for a favor. When you finish watching this video, hopefully you watch all the way through because it's going to be great, but please do leave me a comment and tell me one thing you loved and one thing that you want me to change. I really want to make sure that I'm creating content for you guys that you thoroughly enjoy watching and you look forward to every week. So if you could help me out with that, that'd be amazing. Helicopter 544 Bravo Bravo is 44 miles to the west of KLBJ at 2200. We would like to request flight following for the rest of our flight. Alright. Our nav one four. There it is. Well, bye -bye, Perfect. For you here. Looks like we have about 13 minutes until we get to that first point of that approach. Everything is looking totally awesome. Pretty nice day. It's 61 degrees. I'm at 3,000 feet. I'm going about 135 miles per hour. For those of you who don't know, yes, my airplane is in miles per hour, not knots. She was made in 1968, so that's just what they were doing back then, I guess. I don't know. All of my gauges are in the green. My cylinder head temperature, if you've been following me for a while, you already know. I did get my cylinder replaced. It was reading really high for a while. It's down to 387, so that is looking phenomenal. I got a new cylinder. This cost me $4,000. I think that was the price of my first car. But little red's taken care of. Keeping an eye out for traffic, even though I am on an instrument flight plan. There are a few clouds around me, but it's actually a nice flight, to be honest. 20 minutes till we're on the ground. The funny thing is, is that this airport is like 35 minutes away from me. I've never been here. <laughs> I've flown over it a ton, coming back from Florida, coming back from the Carolinas when I visit my family, but I've never stopped here. It's just so much closer to my home airport that I usually can just make it to my airport, no problem. So I'm excited. Checking out new airports all around Texas. Love it. While we're on the topic of flying around to different airports in Texas, if you have a recommendation for me, leave it in the comments. And it's almost time to land. So if you've been enjoying this video, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't forget. I do not have a red light on. Awesome, that whole thing did not film. Love that. To tell you I was embarrassed to find out that I had been talking to a dead camera the entire time is the understatement of the century. But anyways, I fixed it. So now it's time to set up to land. All right, there is my final approach fix. RPMs are gonna go to 1800. Make sure full rich, fuel pump and landing light on. Slowing down, 1000 feet to go till we get to our minimums. But it is definitely toasty, so we're just gonna not shoot this instrument approach and I'm just gonna come in and land like normal. Airspeed's still looking good. Everything looks great. A little bumpy on this side, but kind of expected that. Gonna have a little bit of a crosswind coming in. So I will plan ahead for that as well. Two white, two red, looks good. I might speed up just a little bit for these bumps. Once I get past these trees, I should be good. Our tower, Cherokee 3591 Romeo is seven miles to the... 3591 Romeo, counter tower squawks are over. Or just go ahead, uh, just continue. Considering not a Romeo. Quite a few of you have been leaving comments on my videos saying that you want to see more of the actual landing when I visit different airports. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy it, but I want to reiterate, stay to the very end so you don't miss this server's reaction when I hand her a $100 bill. Okay, here we go. That wind gust got me, but that was still a pretty good landing for that. Three, remember, turn right on runway 19 and contact ground 120.45. Roger, turn right on runway 19 and then over to ground 3 November. Thank you. Well, not my best landing ever, but a good recovery. I was thinking about going around, but I knew that I had plenty of runway left. My airspeed was nice and soft. Right as I was about to touch down, I got hit with a gust of wind, so I just added a little bit of extra power and brought the airplane back down. It'll be interesting to see how that landing looks because it's probably going to look look pretty sideways, but I actually touched down on both of my mains at the same time, so I'm happy with that. No skidding, no shimmy, nothing, so that was good. Toasty. 
Well, the flight itself was pretty smooth sailing. It was a little bumpy there at the end, but it's okay. The airplane's safe and so am I. So that's really all that matters. Now, I got the red carpet treatment literally when I showed up to this Galaxy FBO, which was incredible. Got to meet a few fans, and now it's time to go and eat a delicious burger. Hi, thank you. Yes, I'm so excited to see if I'm starving. It's so good. I personally think this is a really cool shot of my airplane, and I wanted to show you the red carpet that I was talking about. All right, we're saying goodbye to Little Red, but only for a little while. Time to head up to the restaurant. Instead of taking the stairs like I should have, I did hop in the elevator. I walked down this cool hallway, lots of sweet pictures of the airport while it was getting built, which was pretty awesome. And then to my surprise, I got this prime time seat right next to the window where I got to see all the airplanes come in and land and take off while I was enjoying my burger. Okay guys, we made it. So I am at the Black Walnut Cafe here in Conroe, Texas. I'm actually on the third floor, so I have a perfect view of all of the airplanes taking off and landing, which is awesome. I am definitely going to get the ultimate bacon burger that sounds delicious and french fries because you know what? Your girl deserves them, okay? <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Black Wallet Cafe. Hi. Selena, are you ready to order? I am. I would like the $100 hamburger, please. Okay, would you like fries with that? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Okay, awesome. I'll get that right out for you. Thank you so much. The ultimate bacon burger. That looks delicious. Oh, can I get you anything else? That is it, but you can keep what's ever left. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you for my burger. I'm excited. Uh, here we go. Just in case, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that is a $100 hamburger. There you have it guys, another $100 hamburger. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, let me know which restaurant I should check out next, and I'll see you soon. Bye.